get done with the season, well, you are really proud of it. There is so much sweat and blood and time. And on this episode, we're doing the best of season three. Now, season three was probably one of my best seasons ever. I had just an incredible year, and I got to start it off by doing my dream hunt. I always wanted to go after brown bear up in Alaska, and finally, the chance was there. Well, we just got dropped off and we are literally in the middle of nowhere. But the nice thing is we can see for a long way in our camp. Well, it's right there in the alders. Every morning, we're just gonna get up to that high point, try glassing for these bear. I'm really excited. We just got into camp today, so obviously we can't hunt. But tomorrow morning, we'll be right up there looking for those big brown bear. You can anticipate quite a few days of bad weather when you're hunting the peninsula specifically. Alaska's tough to hunt to begin with, but the peninsula is worse. So we make these hunts really long. They're 10 to 14 day hunts. That's because you're gonna take four to five days off. You'll be sitting in your tent, bring a lot of reading material, and bring a good sense of humor, and hopefully enjoy the surroundings, because there's a lot of days where exposing yourself, it's just not gonna give you any advantage. It's, it's gonna defeat yourself. So actually sitting in your tent is doing the right thing. Waiting for a good weather day, is, is the best opportunity to get a brown bear. You know, in almost any hunting situation, the wind can kill you. But up here, we're on the Alaskan Peninsula, and the wind is just an ordinary event out here. So we're going to end up trying to use it to our advantage. And really, when you think about it, when you have this much wind, well, it's going to silence your sound, and it's really going to protect your scent. So you're going to be able to get up closer on animals if you use that wind to your advantage. Well, Ryan and I were glassing and we spotted a beautiful, extremely blonde bear. Now, when you think of brown bear, well, I didn't necessarily know that they come in different colors, but this was a much blonder bear than anything else we had seen. And the best part is, it was in an area that we thought we could make a stock. Now, we're talking two and a half, three miles from when we first saw it. So these are not just short little stocks that you decide to go on. It is an all day excursion. beautiful just blonde bear this is awesome we have been hunting hard out here we're up here in Alaska and this has been a hunt that I wanted to do for a long time and we got it done we made a lot of great stocks saw some beautiful bear we're here with Ryan McCune it's been just an awesome trip and now we've got a beautiful bear this segment was brought to you by Sportsman's Alliance our heritage our fight protecting hunting from coast to coast did you know that Florida ranks first in number of sportsmen and anglers with 3.15 million that spend 5.9 billion a year supporting over 94,000 jobs? Just another fun fact showing how sportsmen and women are helping make a difference. Well, now that I had my beautiful brown bear down, well, there's one thing that I could never get tired of, and that is hunting whitetails, especially over a decoy. Now, this segment, we're going to South Dakota, and I'm hunting over a decoy, the peak of the rut, and I have bucks coming in one after another. There's that goofy rat buck. He's coming. 
wasn't long and we had that goofy rack buck come back through. Now this time he was licking his lips, staring at the decoy, and I thought we might have had him fooled. He would be a perfect deer. just a little too old and a little too smart. Something didn't seem right to him and he was not having it. Thing I know something caught my eye, looked back over toward the decoy, and there was a beautiful buck walking parallel right past my decoy. even believe it right now. I mean, th this has been tough hunting. We've had big bucks, but it's all been, you know, our moves. My cameraman and I have been moving around, setting up blinds, just trying to figure the deer out. <laughs> Anyone thinks that patience doesn't pay off, this is it. I've passed some beautiful bucks, and I've sat here days on end, just about killing myself for passing them, and now it worked out awesome. I could have gone home again another year empty-handed, but not this time, I got it done. Wow, look at the size of these tines. When he came in, all I could see is points. He's a mainframe eight, just an awesome buck. We've been out hunting at Cody Warren's, Warren Ranches, just an incredible whitetail destination and a lot of fun. Probably one of the most rewarding hunts I've ever done. We put in our time, we made the changes, and now, I've got an absolutely old, beautiful, mature buck. This segment was brought to you by Boss Buck. For the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market, choose Boss Buck Feeders. Now you're getting serious. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Cuddyback Digital. More deer, fewer blanks. Hard-hitting Eastern Arrows. Golden Triangle Whitetail. Winchester, celebrating 150 years of legendary excellence. Scent Killer Gold with Hunt Dry technology. Apply it, dry it, and go hunt. Rage Broadheads, leading the evolution in lethal technology. Convergent Hunting Solutions, where experience, innovation, and passion meet. Sportsman's Alliance, protecting hunting from coast to coast. Engel Coolers, the original high-performance cooler company. And Moose Utility Division, your leader in ATV UTV accessories. So after probably having one of my best whitetail hunts ever, well next up I was going on an elk hunt that proved to be one of the best I've ever been on. Now this wasn't just because it was the most phenomenal elk hunting I've ever seen, but I got to go with one of my best friends from college and we truly had just an absolutely wonderful time and I think the experience will live with me forever. Having an interaction with a jacked up bull, there ain't nothing like it. Nothing that I've ever encountered in the hunting world. It, it, when you got a bull that's screaming and you know that he's committed to coming in, there isn't anything like it. You know, it sends goosebumps up and down my arms every single time, no matter how many times I've seen it. It what draws everybody out to the mountains is that 
one thing that, that can get you in that close, you know, and, and see and hear and, you know, sometimes even feel them, you know, when they get, when they get that close, you feel like they're blowing on you, but it, it's amazing. Truly, it's unexplainable. This had really been an absolutely incredible hunt. We had five bulls down. As far as I'm concerned, that's almost unheard of. I've gone five years without even seeing five bulls, much less having five bulls down in one location. You know, there's a right time and there's an off time. And uh, sometimes, even most of the time, it feels like the, the wrong time happens more than the right time. But that just makes the right time, you know, that much more valuable to you. Now all of us, well, we were all hoping to fill our freezers with elk. It's probably one of my favorite wild game meats out there. So Ryan also had a take. Now I know he probably didn't intend on using it before I was hunting, but I told him, you go first. Why not? We're having a blast. The elk are bugling and get up and go. And it didn't take too much twisting in his arm to get him up and going. And that day, well, we started seeing a lot of elk. On my hunt, we ended up getting into a, a large, large group of elk. Uh, I've hunted elk a lot in 10 years, and I don't think I have ever heard this many bugles in one morning in my life. There was probably anywhere from eight to 12 bulls down in this valley. There was three or four definite shooters. Uh, there was probably a hot cow in there because they were all going crazy. They were cutting one another off bugling all morning long. When we set our plan of attack up, there was a saddle down to our left. Either way, we had to drop off. And about 10 o'clock, all the elk started working out of the valley and they were coming uphill onto the saddle. We had the wind in our favor. We dropped down the left side of the saddle. Once we got on top, we knew we were right in the thick of it. And I turned and looked to my right and here he come up. And I could see tops. And then I could see his thirds. And then I could see his brows. And I'm like, oh boy. Another one of them surreal moments, you know. Not only do I get to watch you know, all my good friends uh, harvest bulls, but some of my good friends got to, got to watch me harvest uh, the biggest bull that I've ever shot, and it is truly a blessing. When it comes to incredible elk hunting, well, I'm pretty sure a trip like this could probably never be beat. Not only with the animals, but with the people I was with. I was having a wonderful time, and I was thrilled to be up. Jason and I, if we have the opportunity, we always team up. Uh, it, it's worked very, very well for us in the past. Get on that point, walk with the decoys nice and close. Get on that point, whatever way he decides. That way Try and bring him this way. Good job. Hey, you are an expert caller. <laughs> Holy smokes. Look at this. That is so cool. 
It's like he's... <laughs> it's like a turkey foot it's on a top. huge turkey foot. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> we were just so thrilled. This entire hunt just turned out to be just such a wonderful experience and everything, well, it couldn't have worked out better. I couldn't have found a better group of people to hunt with and all the laughing, all the fun times, the joking around, we all really enjoyed it and I think every one of us will look back at this show and just the photos, the memories, and just cherish it for a lifetime. This segment was brought to you by Convergent Hunting Solutions. Try their electronic game calls today, featuring Bluetooth technology to work right with your smartphone. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Winchester, celebrating 150 years of legendary excellence. Matthews Archery, catch us if you can. Field and Stream, where traditions begin. ScoutLookWeather.com. Download the free ScoutLook hunting app for your smartphone. Reinhardt, the best archery targets in the world. Garmin, enhance your outdoor adventures. Winchester, the American legend. Sure Shot Jewelry, check out the Melissa Bachman collection today. And Boss Buck, for the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market. Now you're getting serious. Now honestly, it's probably pretty tough to top an elk hunt like that. But on this next hunt, I was going to Nebraska. Now this was with Craig Kerstad of Get Her Done Outfitters, one of my good friends. As we came in, it was snowing, awful conditions, but we used it to our advantage. We set up a blind, we had the perfect camouflage because everything was covered in snow, and we had a decoy out. So as far as I'm concerned, if you can sit somewhere in November in snow with a decoy, well, you know it's going to be a good hunt. The next thing I know, there's a buck headed right behind our decoy. Now this looked like it was the same buck that was down below just raking that tree and finally he had gotten the courage but he still didn't want to come into that decoy. He just kind of skirted around the back, there were does around the decoy, just a perfect live decoy setup. Now the thing is, I looked over to the right and there was an even bigger buck, a really nice old thicker buck standing there watching all the action. He was just bristled up. This wasn't a monster, but it was a pretty nice looking buck and he was all about taking that decoy down. It's not every day that you get a second follow-up shot on a whitetail, especially when they're at 15 yards. But apparently, well, this was my lucky day. This buck was so locked into the decoy that he had no idea what had just happened. I cannot hardly even believe it. I just had a nice buck come in. We're out here in Nebraska. We put the decoy out. It's been just nasty weather. A buck came into it, posturing just really cool. And I actually missed. I hit the bottom of the blind. My arrow went just tumbling out. And then he decided to come back. There's no way you'd normally get two chances at a whitetail like this. But this guy decided to come back got another shot, made a good shot. He went bounding off and it was just awesome. Wow, what a beautiful buck. <laughs> this has been awesome. I don't care where you're hunting, when you can decoy these bucks in and to have a miss, <laughs> I smoked that blind. But luckily that decoy, I mean, it basically saved. How many hunters do you know who've had two shots at a nice mature buck? 
Very few. Very few. <laughs> and he's got pretty good mass throughout. Just a nice deer in his body size. I mean, his neck's all swollen up. We're almost up to Halloween. Mm -hmm. And you can tell these bucks are starting to rut. We're here with Get Her Done Outfitters, and we've just had an incredible hunt. Craig, you couldn't get a better outfitter. and just been a lot of fun and great way to end the trip. <laughs>